Bro, well, look at me right now. He's blessed my whole closet, bro. Oh my god, I've been slacking so much on the gym. Yo, tell me about this form right here. 97, 98, 99, 100. I gotta be a top G. Top G does push-ups, G. We haven't been working out in a minute, eh? Before we leave the crib. Before we leave the, the telly. I don't know. What's house in England language? So this is how my day is going right now. In the past 24 hours, two of my three modeling agencies have deadass threatened to like terminate my contract because I, I fucked up two self castings. I haven't been answering, bro. This has been the busiest week of my life. I signed with a brand agency called Small Screen. I don't even know if I can say that, but yeah, I did. And I had these little bumps on my face. I thought I had the pox. Shit's going, shit's going wrong. But this is my boy's warehouse. Veil Lives. Devon invited me here. Show you brokies how to build a successful company, successful brand. For all you guys that be printing, like printing bullshit designs, just trying to sell merch, it's done right now. MTV it's good. Chris, it's good. Yeah, I know, how MTV you? Chris, what are we doing? I know how you pulled up. Oh, you got the whole school? Man's giving the tour right now. Yeah, I see it on, yeah, I see it on. Oh. Brooklyn, you know, my man T-Pain. It's the Veil documentary right here. Yeah. It's the Veil documentary. Y'all gonna see this in two years, know who did it first. You had a different color on when we went to yeah, the Yeah, I, I, I had the black one. This yeah, one this, dropped. this is crazy yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, this is pop-up exclusives right here. September 24th, 26th, that's the dates too. We got the, the wax denim oh, set cool. coming. Yeah, yeah, I know you ain't see this. Oh, and the pants too? Yeah, you gotta have the matching set. You know, you can zip them into shorts. Then we got the jacket. Tell them, Trish, that, that's the hand detail. wax. Let that's them know, Trish. Saying. That's hand wax. Yo, the material is not slacking at all. And the button, too. Come on. So you could crop it. Anything you need. This <laughs> we man got, got it right fit. here. We're going to get the fit right, but. It's like two jackets in one right two there. Two jackets in one, and then you got two pants in one. Shorts and everything. Oh, my God, oh, right here. Yeah, it was good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. Oh, that's a shirt, too? Yeah, oh, you, my bro. God, right here. Uh, yeah. Yo, tell me your brand though. The brand's Modern Misere. We coming crazy, bro. Yeah. It's just only one of the pieces right now. This was in the last vlog too. Well, all the pieces are right here though. Yeah. This is all real pony hair. Oh, that's that's his custom suit we had made that's just for custom, him. Custom, oh, this is all you? Yeah, it's custom, come with the pony. I ain't it out yet. It's my custom speedy suit, the Green Goblin. Yeah, I seen this it. the Green Goblin in the flesh Green right Goblin. here. Bro, the pieces you make are sick. Like yeah, in the bro. store, every, yeah, this, I remember I shot him in this too. Oh this yeah, 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 crazy. Where is? So did you guys go to like school? No. Or what? I graduated from Montclair, but well, what'd you study? Communication and media had nothing to do with fashion. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you didn't even go to school at all? Nah, then? I was actually cooking. I was you cooking went to culinary arts? No, not even. You just cooking in a restaurant yeah. and decided like, I'm gonna start making clothes? Mm -hmm. You gotta try this on right now. Email, you washed yours already? Oh. Look, now we stamped right now. <laughs> Look, yeah, we all, yeah. everybody got it on right now. Yeah. You got it? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Nah, nah, nah. That's just going in the trash right now. Yeah, this is it right here. <laughs> Fits perfect. It's literally MTV Cribs. Like, they don't, I don't even think they know how big this studio is. Nah, they, they don't. This is like, yeah, this is like my house right here. So, yo, for people who got like some small little startup in their crib, like, how do they get some, some shit like this? Like, how long did this take? Three, three years, probably. Three, three years. years. Yeah. From scratch. Yeah, three years. The owner, co owner. They not here right now. Brian and Jesse, my brothers, they've been grinding since 16. You got to put in those hours, bro. Yeah, if you don't be yeah. realizing, hell you got to yeah. put in crazy time. Crazy hours. They wasn't doing nothing. I had a job, but they was in there just focusing on just work every day. That's what I'm saying. Seven days a week, 24, they were just making pieces, making pieces. But and that's had, what happens, and yeah. And they, they had a vision, and they brought it to fruition. Young boys, though. If you really bought it and you put the time in, you're going to succeed, whatever exactly. you do. Exactly, so. Wait, so you, both of you guys didn't even go to school for this? No. Nah. So, like, how do you end up in fashion? Going from, what were you, what would you say you were in? question. Well, I started when people was making, like, the handmade hoodies. They were, like, put, cutting two hoodies up and putting them into, like, yeah. one. So, I started off with that. So, I was like, oh, I think I can make that. So, yeah. I, I started making that. And after that, I just started making my own pieces. So how do you go about the like the manufacturing process? Because I know a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I first started, it was just it was like hit or miss. I was just finding on Alibaba. And then you gotta go through and trial just, and error too. Don't think everything you send a sample is gonna come back perfect. You gotta sometimes you gotta take that loss. You might lose a couple bucks, but you gotta just keep going. If it doesn't come out right, then you out like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Each each sample is like a hundred minimum. The leather pieces are like four hundred minimum. I've, there's been times where I've messed up a yeah. jacket like three times. So that's like each leather sample is like four hundred dollars. So you can't even imagine how much that is. You gotta just stick with it. When you get those back, you can't be like, all right, you know what? They're not gonna get it right. It's over. It's just like, all right, I took that loss. 
but that's what I got to put in in order to... You're one step closer. Exactly. exactly. So it's just like, all right, I might have lost that, but I know when I get it right, the benefits is going to be way more. This is the first time I met him. How about this first time Jack Oh, yeah. Bro, look at me right years, now. Bro. This is bless my whole closet, bro. Now the crop is insane, though. Damn, I'm trying to make a thumbnail. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, that shit. That shit I was about broken, to say, bro, did yeah. I break that shit? Nah, that All shit right, was good. broken. Oh, my God. First day I come here, I start breaking shit. This is like some dream shit, though, right? Like, start of it, at least. Like, a lot of people, they don't even get to have this type of studio space. They're out the basement, you know, cutting and sewing themselves. Yeah, this is like my, my first studio. That's why I started realizing, like, especially started doing the videos and everything and everything else I've been doing, you gotta have, like, people that are doing shit around you. Like, I really feel like you end up with the closest three people that you're around. Like, this has been my busiest week by far yeah. in my life. Everything's been going up. It's because I think what I was just telling you, we have that whole network. Yeah with everybody like I ain't saying I'm there yet but when I came up with my little free I was I was active I was in Soho every day you got to be active and like you you active bro yeah you active people see your face when people see your face a lot they're gonna have to put something to it like what does he do I keep seeing him at this spot yeah I seen him at this spot I seen him at this show I seen him outside here I seen him connected with so-and-so yo yeah. he gotta do something and he and knows that, this person who yeah, knows this person who knows that person exactly that's crazy. Like, it's like, exactly somebody, you don't know that he knows somebody that you yeah. else know it's all it's exactly all and that's, that's that's just how it's that it's that grind just being active and everybody's up and coming we all up coming up at the same time exactly we all coming up at the same time yeah. we only three years into this and the, the community part is what shocked me hey, a lot because at the telling i'm telling you at that event i said it like 10 times already yeah. but just the mass amount of people who had your shit on and, and just, showing love to mm -hmm. you especially when they came in and exactly. everything you and got that community down and that's my thing like you can ask every single one of them people do they know me have they seen me like it's not no how like i'm gonna be active i say what's up i respond to everybody i, I, I like I, I appreciate all the love but you're gonna you're gonna see me yeah somebody nine times out of ten if you see someone they're gonna say they had a conversation with me or they see me in person or somewhere you you see me yeah they know who you, <laughs> you are see I say? You, you, you see me so that's always like you got to stay in touch with that that's real like like they want to be able to know that they can speak to you or even you know be in the same room as you or yeah you know, like that's how people connect with you yeah that's how you build relationships yeah that's how you build they like all right i know i spoke to this person i'll dap them up said this and that like i see him like i, I respect that that's you gotta be showing love yeah you gotta be that's what we're doing out here. We're just showing love to everybody. Everybody who's working. All right, we got the jacket. We got the... It's like Christmas Day. <laughs> Walking out of here with all these presents. All right, we're going to the city. All right, I'll see y'all over there. All right, we're going to be there in a second. Yo, that was the Vet Lives headquarters with my boy Andy and Devon. And don't be asking me why my, my shirt's off and why I'm like half naked in my car. Right when I got in the car, this shit was grilling in here. It's hot. This is why you can't be vlogging and driving. I literally just got in the car and I made two wrong exits and the shit be looping around so it's like an extra 10 minutes each missed exit i'm not i'm fucking up i don't know what's good with me i'm fucking up you see what i'm saying what the fuck was that the car just revved in d2 i went d1 i play soccer d1 we don't do d2 for you mean you feel me you feel me who, who's talking shit about Jersey with views like this, bro? Who got clouds like this in the sky? I don't think no other state besides Jersey. You say man. Mad heads here. God damn. I swear to God, bro. Every single time I come out in the city at nighttime, we in LES. Why? I need like a change of... I changed the scenery or something. I think we're about to link with Sav and 4 or 5, obviously, because he's going to let us in. I wore a tank top. I'm prepared to throw this shit away because he said he's going to give me some New York gun range merch. And I just parked my car. I got to be back at 12 or they're going to tow that shit. So we're on a time schedule right now. Oh, yeah, Tristan. You know what it is, man. Yo, Sav. I didn't see Dang. you. I'm yeah, good. I'm like, out the way. I was like, yo, hold on, I start recording. Who, who checked in? Do you have a wristband? Yo, fam, son, I will shut this whole shit down and none of y'all will go inside. This is what he's screaming about, trying to get one of these. Come on! Yeah! Come on! What? 
Push it out of space, we gone I'm a UFO to bomb We drop this shit on your mom Now I'm calling on the plug Babe, I had to pull the plug So I subscribe, but I'm not there You had a problem, but what is up? We had a problem, the gun was tough I ain't the one for you to judge I ain't gon' fold, we ain't gon' budge All of the water, it look like a tub Yeah I got the dirty, it look like a slug It's late, pull up to the eye for the blunts I feel like fucking a slug Yeah I know it's late, but I put my heart in the cup I had to wait the way I've been handling drugs I gotta keep pushing it up, keep pushing it up You pushing me straight to the edge and I don't wanna fuck and I don't wanna talk Yeah, passing the rats like a ball Yeah, I'm with the team, need it all 